Yum. What drink have you got? I have a mogu mogu peach flavored drink with nata de coco and it is a happy drink. <laughs> Mine isn't a happy or a sad. And now we are going to the platform. The, the the salad, okay, without the chicken is 11 pounds. So if I didn't get the chicken, I would have gotten four little pieces of lettuce like this, tiny little sprinkle of cheese, and then dressing that wasn't actually even Caesar salad dressing for 11 pounds. Their margins, Woo! they're making profit. <laughs> So I don't think I've said where we're going. We are going to Krakow, Poland, and we're both really, really looking forward to this trip. I'm gonna explain more about the trip later. Cute hat. It's a bit sad because this is my first time going into Europe post. Is it? No, I've been to Italy. 
Yeah. I think this is no, I think this is the first time that I've gone into Europe and they've had to stamp my passport and I had to get into the non-EU line. We're going. So it takes us 18 minutes to get to there. raining. <laughs> it's really beautiful. The buildings here are absolutely stunning. Al and I are very surprised because we didn't expect it to be this stunning. Like, look how stunning the buildings are. Look at how he points his toe like a cutie. Gal and I found a really cute Polish pub outside in the old town quarter and also can I just say I think I might stay in Poland because <laughs> right, if you were in London and you went out to a place like this with a really nice setting and you ordered two cocktails you would pay 20 pounds so I was saying, so if you went to a nice place like this in London and ordered two cocktails, two mains, two starters, you're going to pay £20 minimum or like £20 on average for the drinks. <clears throat> I think we're paying the equivalent of like £10 for two drinks. It's happy hour in Poland in my mind. Also, please look at Norm. She's happy. She's in her element. Polish husband. Okay. He makes uh, you pierogi. Okay. We have finished dinner. How was dinner on a scale of one to ten? Go. Um, it was so delicious and honestly after that insult <laughs> of a salad I had earlier, I could have been happy with the gruel. It was but it was, I did not receive gruel. It was really, really good. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Wait, no, I would I give it a nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. No, maybe Moo Moo is uh, ice, cream. Uh, ice cream. We're now looking for ice cream and we're going to get some bits from the supermarket um, just to take us snacks tomorrow because we don't know what the food's going to be like where we're going. Very warm in here. Oh, there's an aircon. Fabulous. So cute. And we got house. Aww. And we got house. Oh my god, that shower looks so nice, girl. 
Hello! Um, my birthday is at the end of May, it's on the 26th of May. And my big birthday present from my sister this year was a trip to Krakow, Poland um, for two days. So we're here, we arrived um, early afternoon today and we are leaving very late in the evening tomorrow. So we're here for literally just over 24 hours. And the reason we're here um, is to go to the Auschwitz Museum. So, um, I have been fascinated with international criminal law, World War II, um, for a very, very, very long time. I went to university and did my masters and did human rights and all the modules that I took um, for my masters were, except two, were international law modules. International criminal law was born at the Nuremberg tribunals where Nazi war criminals were put on trial for the crimes that they committed during World War II. So going to Auschwitz is something that I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to experience being there and um, just learn as much as I can about that period and what went on at the infamous concentration camp. So <laughs> I'm very aware that this is a little bit of a bizarre birthday gift. However, for those people who know me, this is literally like the best present that anyone has ever given me. I've always wanted to come here. It's not something that I was keen to do on my own. And I am like, just a disclaimer, I'm under no kind of, I'm not disillusioned as to how heavy and difficult the trip tomorrow will be. I'm very, very aware. I've read extensively, studied extensively on con the concentration camps and Nazi Germany and post World War II, I have read too, too many books um, and yeah, I, I'm, I'm very kind of aware of how horrific what went on was and I know that tomorrow will be a day filled with some very heavy emotions but it is something that I've always wanted to experience and I feel so incredibly grateful to be here and to be doing this trip with my sister who's also studied World War II extensively and who is fascinated with that period um, of history. So that is why we are here. Today we had the loveliest time in Krakow. We were in the old town, we're staying in the Jewish quarter and we spent an hour or so kind of strolling around the old town which was absolutely beautiful we weren't expecting it to be so stunning I don't know what we were expecting but it was just so beautiful like the buildings were stunning like there's like a little kind of like piazza thing in the old town and it was just so beautiful and we found a Polish pub sort of thing um, and had dinner there um, we didn't have Polish food because we're planning to do that tomorrow um, but we had a lovely dinner and then walked around and then came back to our Airbnb which is just so lovely you've seen clips of that prior but yeah I'm just so happy so grateful to be here um, and I'm really looking forward to tomorrow um, we are doing the full guided tour with kind of like the headsets and everything and then we have access to the museum as well. So I'm really, really excited. Um, excited is the wrong word. I'm really looking forward to the day. Um, it's something I've wanted to do forever. So I'm just so happy that I get to do that and I get to do it with my sister. I won't be filming there. Um, number one, I don't think I'm allowed, but even if I, was allowed I just don't think it's appropriate and I really want to just be there and immerse myself with the history and just be fully present so I will update you before and you'll see the morning and kind of um, all of that and I'll update you after and give you kind of my thoughts 
Um, I'll also, what I'll do is I will post in the description like books that I've read um, that I've really, really enjoyed and I'll kind of categorize them. Um, I've read, like I said, extensively more kind of like like historical books. I've read historical fiction. I've read biographies, autobiographies. So I'll kind of collect my favorites and kind of pop them in the description. So for those of you who want to read more about um, kind of what happened, if, you, if you're if you not super familiar or you just want to kind of learn a little bit more, then I'll put the books that I really enjoyed in the description box. I'm also planning to buy more books tomorrow because they do have a bookshop, which I'm so grateful for <laughs> like I can't wait to go to the bookshop and see and pick up things that like I haven't I haven't read or haven't seen before um because I do have like a few books at home that I have yet to read but I have them so I will get to them um but yeah anyway so that's a little update Gal and I it is 8 30 um we need to be at our like meeting point tomorrow at 8 30 I believe and we need to get breakfast before that so we have to be up a little bit early um we are going to chill out, drink lots of water because we both haven't had enough water today and we are going to watch a movie on my iPad and go to sleep early but I will catch you tomorrow and I hope you're enjoying the vlog so far. I love like filming stuff like this because for selfish reasons I just love it to have like to look back on um, and yeah I mean hopefully you guys enjoy it too so anyways girl has just come back. Do you want to say hi? Madame Mrs. Calcutt. That's okay. I was telling them about the best birthday present ever. Oh, but it's not even your birthday yet. I know. It's not even my birthday yet. And it's already the best birthday. It's because I'm the best sister. I know. Um, okay, anyways, we are going to eat some snacks and watch a film and go to sleep. So yeah. we'll catch you tomorrow. Bye. Like falling deeper, cold and nice, that no more shit. I know it's so pretty. <laughs> Morning, it is the next day. Um, we went to bed quite early. What time? Like 10 10 10 30. Um, and now it is 7 30, and we are on our way to our meeting point to meet our, thanks girl, very loud, to meet our guide and the rest of the tour. Um, and then we've got, I think it's like a two hour bus ride um, to Auschwitz. So I'm just setting up the direction. So Today is going to be a very emotionally heavy day. Um, I will update you when we get to the meeting point. Oh, we also need to stop. Oh my God, the lighting. Um, we also need to stop and find coffee and something for breakfast. Gal has some cereal left over. We found cinnamon toast crunch. So she has some left over from last night, but we do need to stop and get something proper to eat and coffee. We need coffee. It seems that Poland doesn't wake up till later because nothing is open. Large Connick. Large Connick. Oh my god, are those donuts? <gasps> So cute. Nummy? Nummy, nummy? Can I bite? see the dough? Oh, there isn't jam yet. Oh. Do you want a bite? No thanks. I thought you were saving it for later. Tan? I want to see. Update. That was a delicious donut. I think the most beautiful donut I've ever eaten. And we got coffees. We got iced vanilla 
soy latte. So the woman was a bit confused when we asked for an iced, because they had an iced vanilla latte. And I was like, can you do that, but with soy milk? I she was think, like, I don't think dairy alternatives are as big of a thing. They did have soy milk countries. on the menu though. Yeah, but and like, she was like, um, no. Compared to London, yeah, where of course. Like the standard is actually um, milk alternatives. Yeah. And you don't pay like extra for milk alternatives in London in most places anymore. Yeah, she was a bit confused, but she managed to do something. I mean, it's soy milk and we can taste vanilla, but she's given us espresso ice cubes. So the longer we wait to drink it, the it's going to be very strong, which is not a bad thing. It's still going to kill me. This is our meeting point. Here. We are in a little green space. We're gonna sit here because Gal brought us 45 minutes early. I didn't mean to. So we're just gonna sit here and wait. We are in the van. The bus. The bus. Try my melon. No, that's really good. Try my blueberry. Oh my God, that's so good. Gal and I went back to the restaurant we had dinner at last night and had dinner again. We were so traumatized from that shit oh God, salad. Stop ta talking about the salad. No, no. Yeah, let's talk about the salad. So, anyways, we had a lovely dinner. Um, and then we picked up some ice cream. I got coconut and raspberry. Gal got melon and blueberry. Oh no. That's gonna happen. Sorry guys. Sorry. <laughs> um, and now we are walking back to the station. Um, to We're still a little bit early, so we'll probably walk around for a bit. We're gonna head back to the station um, to get the train, to go to the airport. Our flight is at 10.30. PM. We're gonna land really late, but it's been an amazing day. Hasn't it been an amazing day? We're getting very tired. We are at the station. We forgot what this is called, but they're everywhere. It's like a traditional Polish thing. It's a pretzel. It tastes like pretzel. It's very good. Um, so it tastes like a pretzel, but looks like a baby. Yeah. We're at the station. Um, the next train to the airport is in like 40 minutes. So we're trying to find a place to get tickets, although we can get tickets like um, like on the train, but just feel better getting them now. And then we're just gonna sit somewhere and chill out, make it to the airport. We're a little bit tired now. <laughs> Guys, the Polish transport system is not intuitive no. at all and like we've been sat here for about half an hour stressed trying to figure out how to get a ticket if we can get a ticket on the train what time this train is leaving from what platform there are no like self-service kiosks they're like you have to wait in line the line we were in the line for about half an hour we're like we're gonna miss this damn train we need to leave and then we've just asked this man that was like not very helpful <laughs> And we've eaten all our snacks for the plane. All that snacks. So we're gonna have to get some more snacks at the airport, we think.
Tomato people in my dreams The last time if I recall Was a feeling of being alone I don't know if Where I'm going isn't far But in case I go No need to We made it to the airport Yay. We were here yesterday <laughs> We're finally getting on the plane. <laughs> it's 10.30, the flights, the flights have been delayed. The one before us took ages. The flight has been delayed. We're gonna get in at midnight. Our coach, because the trains aren't running from Luton so late, is at 1.15. We arrive at Victoria Coach Station at 3 a.m. <laughs> meaning we're not gonna get home so until like 3.30. We're going to be absolutely knackered, but it was worth it. It was such an incredible trip of a lifetime, I think. And I had such an amazing time. This is our plane. We've arrived. That was, it felt like such a long flight. Oh, fuck, my ear hole, sorry. Oh. That was a really long flight filled with children who were kicking seats and screaming. But we made it, we're home, yay. Well, we have a two hour. <laughs> Don't even talk to me. We're almost home.